night they came together to remember Jennifer Houston, the local mother who took her own life. Family, friends, even strangers gathered for that vigil. Welcome everyone to Coin6 News at 11. I'm Jeff Gianola, and Jennifer's death is also raising awareness about getting help. Chris Holmstrom was there for that gathering tonight. And Chris, you've been following the story for weeks. There's support for her all across the country, isn't there? That's right. You know, take a look at this. People from all over the area lighting candles to remember and honor Jennifer Houston. They're strong. They're really strong. A heartbroken family just days after this mother from Dundee is found dead, nearly two weeks after she went missing. They're grieving and deeply, as you can imagine. Tonight, a candlelight vigil for family, friends, and strangers to remember Jennifer Houston. It's a tragic loss for their family, and so they're supporting each other and caring for each other. But what puzzles this family the most is why Jennifer would take her own life and leave behind her two young children and husband. Oh, my condolences. There is something just really special in Jennifer and in that family uh, that people can recognize quickly just from pictures and stories that were being related, and that impacted people really deeply. It's a story that has captivated the country and right here in the Newburgh Dundee area. It really stirred up the community, and we just want to be here in support of the family. It's horrible what happened. And others feeling a different connection with Jennifer and her family and knowing what it's like to have a loved one take their life. They're feeling sad and empty and they want to know why. That's how I felt. It's something that this family does not understand and possibly never will. But they want people to know that Jennifer was loved and will be missed. And tonight they also had this message for the community saying, thank you for caring for us so deeply. And the family also wants to raise awareness on suicide and say if you or someone you know is hurting or struggling with depression or just need someone to talk, there are resources available. We put those links on our website. Jeff, back to you.